Makati Medical Center hit Senator Coco Pimentel for breaching containment protocols. Pimentel found out Wednesday, March 25, that he tested positive for the novel coronavirus while assisting his wife who was about to give birth. In a statement, MMC Medical Director Dr. Saturnino Javier denounces the irresponsible and reckless action of the senator. Javier adds health workers may now have to undergo quarantine which will further deplete the dwindling workforce of the hospital. He also calls Pimentel's admonition for everyone to observe social distancing, community quarantine, and personal hygiene code nothing but empty rhetoric because he himself violated all those. Pimentel is the second senator to contract COVID-19. In a statement, Pimentel says he took the test on March 20 and was informed about the result late Tuesday, March 24. Pimentel admits he was with his wife, Katrina, at the hospital when he learned about the test result. As of Wednesday, March 25, the Department of Health says there are 636 confirmed cases with 84 new COVID-19 positive patients. Three more die with a death toll now at 38. Six recover, bringing the total number of recoveries to 26. President Rodrigo Duterte signs into law a bill granting him 30 special powers to address the coronavirus pandemic. Senator Bongo confirms Duterte signs past midnight Wednesday, March 25. Called the Bayanihan to Heal as One Act, the law grants Duterte the power to take over private medical facilities and public transportation. Among the special powers listed in the law is the authority to give 18 million low-income families 5,000 to 8,000 pesos in emergency cash aid. Health workers will also get a special risk allowance on top of their regular hazard pay. The law also mandates 100,000 pesos be given to health workers who contract COVID-19. Families of health workers who died in the line of duty will receive 1 million pesos retroactively. The Free Legal Assistance Group or FLAG says Republic Act No. 11332 already gives Duterte powers to respond to a pandemic. Several lawmakers note the measure does not address the government's lack of comprehensive plan against the outbreak. The bill garnered overwhelming support after unconstitutional provisions were removed from earlier versions of the bill. Among possible violations include LGUs, which do not follow national policies, private health facility owners who do not comply with the order, hoarders, and individuals or groups found to be creating, perpetuating, and spreading false news online and on other platforms. Punishment may be imprisonment of up to two months or a fine of not less than 10,000 pesos, but not more than 1 million pesos. The law will be valid for three months unless extended by Congress or terminated earlier. The World Health Organization says the COVID-19 outbreak in the United States has the potential to exceed Europe. WHO spokeswoman Margaret Harris says 85% of the new cases reported came from Europe and the United States, now the two main drivers of the outbreak. The latest daily report published late Monday show Europe reported 20,131 new cases, while the United States reported 16,354, more than double its total case load. Despite the surging case numbers, Harry says testing in the U.S. is being ramped up. There are also more efforts to isolate, trace, and quarantine people. COVID-19 has now infected more than 386,000 people worldwide and killed nearly 17,000 of them since the outbreak began late 2019. Instagram unveils a new feature Tuesday, March 24, allowing users to connect more easily over video and shared content to ease isolation stemming from the coronavirus pandemic. Instagram head Adam Mosseri says the new co-watching feature lets people browse Instagram posts together while on video chat. This is becoming more important with many people around the world, cut off from friends and family due to stay-at-home orders. Instagram also announces new efforts to promote reliable content about the outbreak and stop the spread of misinformation. It directs users to information from the World Health Organization and local health ministries. It will also add stickers marking verified coronavirus information and remove content about health claims unless posted by a credible health organization. Prince Charles of the United Kingdom tests positive for the novel coronavirus. In a statement, Clarence House says the 71-year-old heir to the British throne is experiencing mild symptoms but remains in good health. The BBC reports Charles' wife Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall, tested negative. Charles and Camilla are currently self-isolating in Scotland. <laughs> 